Brony? Here. Sar? Bolo? Here. Rich, yes, can you hear me? Yes, why are you here? Why are you feeling, feeling virtually? Yes. <laughs> not are you, why are you? <laughs> oh, I'm not in, I am not in Hudson right now. Okay. I'm out of time. President DJ, Trump's here. Eric, 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 now I'm going to be back in a second to the Spencer for the reading of minutes of the June 18th meeting in place in Mount Vernon. Churchill and Martin. All those in favor, please signify by saying no. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Similarly, with committee reports, may I have a motion, uh, introduction and second place committee reports on file? Churchill and Martin. All those in favor, signify by saying no. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carried. We have uh, uh, communications. And I have an introduction and a second. Margaret and Sharon. Sure. Uh, comment? Yeah. Sure, good comment. Okay, so uh, I think, Vicki, you may have brought this up. Somebody brought it up. I just brought it something up before you came, unless you heard me something. No, 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 no. Okay. You brought up the issue of parking and looking at parking in the chart. Yes, I was going to talk about it. Like, yes. No, just sorry, I can't not turn it down my ears. So, Vicki had brought up an issue uh, around taking a look again of how we address parking in the boat. And I think the planning board's communication will direct you to that, where they are looking for more exactly. clear guidance on what they are looking at in development. Uh, so I, I would like to suggest uh, that the legal committee start looking at what we're doing with them and try to start thinking about you know, what was there before, the answer was not possible, and that's the only way it's possible to be listed, but I think we can start to find the direction. And so I would like to say that. I agree with that. Any comments? I have some ideas around that, and we can discuss them. Yeah. Yeah, but I think you should, if you can take it out the of the parking committee could take it up, right? Either one. Or both. Yeah. And then the other comment I wanted to make was well, there are two when we get to it in the agenda, we have two communications regarding the building up. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, Alex, he had asked that it be taken for this evening. Uh, I have a talk to him also and to the Carl Ostring. And I think that there is some vagueness in how we get rid of particularly for the stroke property. And so I would agree with the suggestion that we table this and okay, uh, we'll it. I mean, right, right, we get to them then. Okay. Other than that, I don't know really much. Okay. Yes, Please. and my uh, comment is about the uh, report from Graydon Manning about the speed limit. Yeah. And um, the speed zone is um, it's way too long, as you see from the, the report. The school zone is way too long. It's, almost triple the, the size, yeah. the length. So I feel this needs to be corrected since yeah. we're revising the whole speed limit. And um, I feel at this point, I'd like to take it or somebody else if I want to, but I, I don't mind bringing it up to the police department. Well, what we, what we have in that report, and uh, Chris has been working on low and lower nation. Yeah. Uh, they specified in their map where they call the school and there should be exactly the yes. And what Crystal was waiting for for me and Jason is the exact locations, the street uh, intersections for those pieces. We the one we have time between the end of last Thursday and tonight to get that wrapped up. So I think we're going to have to go on next month. But I'm going to give her, I'm about to pray to make sure they agree with what we're designating. But if looking at the map and the recommendation, you can specify exactly where the school zone begins and ends. Uh, and there are two separate. As long as it can be revised so we can correct 
because it's, a, it's again, so yeah, no, no. we're not in Europe still, yeah. so we need to right. fix and, and that's in the report. And if you, exactly, I read if you write in a few their map, they specify where it is. Yes. So I will be putting together the exact screen of And then I can go from there and we can go. Oh, well, well, what we have to do first is agree that that's what we're doing, and then we can go from there. Exactly. Our scope is there right. anything right there? Uh, no, as soon as the law is pretty much there, it's just getting those exact um, intersections and it'll be ready to go for August. Uh, although they were receiving the communication, saying hi. 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 Bills. Uh, the big bill for one second, the six thousand dollars. Uh, what is that company again? Springbrook. Springbrook is the uh, treasurer's um, software. So, software, thanks. And is this? Does anyone know how often this bill is going to be coming? Is it like twelve? Well, is it twice a year or something? Uh, Okay. Well, I don't think it's more than a bunch of All it says is tax collection subscription. Maybe it's once in a Okay. Uh, can I have an introduction and a second to um, the folks? Trisha, Roger, roll call the vote, please. Councilmember Bell, Susan? Aye. Tascalooney? Aye. Horanzi? Aye. Bizan? Aye. Morris? Aye. Brony? Aye. Bolo? Aye. Okay, let's we'll start with the resolution from last week. I already introduced first resolution of the Planning Commissioner of the Eads. And I have a roll call vote, please. Councilmember Belton? Aye. Pascalini? Aye. Moranti? Aye. Pisa? Aye. Morris? Aye. Roni? Aye. Paul Polo? Aye. Resolution author of the planning board budget amendment and the purchase of software. Roll the public vote, please. Councilmember Belton? Aye. Pascaludi? Aye. Moranzi? Aye. Nissan? Aye. Morris? Aye. Roney? Aye. Bolo? Aye. The next authorizes the budget amendment uh, to be consolidated highway and chips program. Roll call vote, please. Councilmember Belton? Aye. Bascaludi? Aye. Moranti? Aye. Bizan? Aye. Morris? Aye. Brony? Aye. Bolo? Aye. Next accepts a donation to the CAC for street tree planting. Roll call vote, please. Councilmember Belton? Aye. Bascaludi? Aye. Moranti? Aye. Nissan? Aye. Morris? Aye. Roney? Aye. Bolo? Aye. Aye. The next waves, rental arrears for the Hudson Bay Care Center. Roll oh, call over the place. Councilmember Belton? Aye. Bascaludi? Um, so about this, yeah, I, I definitely think this should be an aye, but I want to say something. Um, who it's the city's fault that fault in a way what happened from 2020 to 2024 why nobody was asked for a rent for our mid farm our own rent what happened pandemic? yeah no i know the pandemic but still the pandemic you have some kind of you know there communication with the panel landlords who yeah. say okay what's going on i'm not mm -hmm. you don't have to pay for a year so who is uh 
controlling and organizing our assets, our real estate, in a way. If we are a landlord, who is... Well, first, I'm no longer trying to get out of there. Yeah, no, I know that. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, they had uh, they were bill. They just weren't paying the bill. I mean, I just said something to try to do. You let us know. Yeah, I'm just saying that we, that we should be a top of the accounting here, like why you're not paying, what is the reason, I, and, you know. I'm sorry, I thought that they were unable to use the space left because it was the last. That was, yeah, that was within a difference of a year. One time, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think that 2020 is the pandemic, and I think they stopped paying, hold on a second. Oh no, it was wrong. in February 2020 was the last payment, if I could just jump in. Um, and then you had the pandemic hit. They tried to reopen again come that around that fall, but it did not um, they were not able to do so with the reduced capacity. And then there, there was the structural and then following that um, for tw in 2021, I believe, or somewhere between 2020 and 2021 there was a structural damage to the building and they were not able to occupy at that point. And there were some communications between um, the daycare and the city during the time frame, especially when they were trying to, to, to get back up again and then they couldn't do it. Um, I was able to, to track some of those down, but there's also an issue because I, d I haven't been able to find a, an actual year long lease. lease during this period too. So it could have been that they were on month to month at, at during some of this, these periods. So maybe what I'm saying is also our fault because we should have been at the top of this what's going on. So it's, you know, next time I think it's just going to be careful. Where am I? Oh, it was for a period. Yeah, okay. yeah I know. Okay. Is that anybody else? The wrong call the other person. Thank you. Yes, Thank you. 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 Thank Oh, could, could you explain this a little bit? I was reading five the most kind of can we get into the So I know that they got a grant for the internship program. Mm -hmm. And then they didn't have any expenditures, correct? Uh, Maya, you're here. That's what our expenses were incurred in 2023. Maya, can you uh, speak to this? I'm sorry, could you please repeat the question? So a grant was received in the amount of nine thousand, but then um, no program expenses were incurred. So what exactly is happening in this resolution? I'm I'm I actually don't know. Oh, I, I don't I I'm actually having trouble understanding the question, which I apologize for because it's oh. the ice you're using. Okay, Heather is here now, and she will respond. Okay. Heather. Hi, yeah, so basically what happened was um, they received the grant, uh, the department received the grant, it was amended to the 2023 budget. Um, they should have requested that it get encumbered to the 2024 budget, uh, and that just didn't happen. It, it, it got missed, that's all. So um, the funds were already received, so we have the cash in hand. It's not a reimbursable grant. It is intended to be spent against an internship program. They didn't receive the grant, I think, until toward the end of last year. So my understanding is it was always intended to be a 2024 thing. So it's just, you know, as you see every year in February and March, there are generally resolutions for grants and the like that are uh, have balances that are unspent that get what's called encumbered to the 2024 budget. That should have happened. It was missed. Um, so this is just doing that. The reason why it's coming out of fund balance is because obviously when we close the books at the end of 2023, that grant amount of money dropped down to the fund balance when we closed the book. So it basically it's just taking it back out and putting it into the expenditure line where it belongs. And um, the plan is to have the internship program this year. That is my understanding, but I will defer to Maya on that. But yes, that's my understanding based on my conversations with Liz. 
Yeah, yes, it is. And if you have um, more specific questions about that, please direct them to Liz. But yes, that internship program is happening this year. Okay. Uh, yeah, that works. Well, 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 the Custom Development Corporation's application to New York State Home HCR for funding under the New York Ministry Program. Can I have an introduction in a second? Uh, Margaret Ann Schriffen. Question. Oh, okay. Go, go, go. Council Member Delson. Aye. Vascaludi. Aye. Moranti. Aye. Nisa. Aye. Morris. Aye. Roni? Aye. Dolo? Aye. President TPHO? Aye. Okay. Actually, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, the next resolution is endorsing the Hudson Development Corporation's application for funding from the Environmental Protection Fund. Can I have an introduction in the second? Thurston and Martin. Any questions about that? Councilmember Belton. Aye. Desaludi. Aye. Moranti. Aye. Isan. Aye. Morris. Aye. Roni. Aye. Bolo. Aye. President Pietro. Aye. Okay. The next resolution, resolution authorizing proclamation Tuesday, August 6th, at National Night Out Months. We heard about this from Clinton. Uh, Frank. Um, and uh, reflection supplements. Uh, Jennifer and Margaret. Questions? Both of both. Council Member Belton. Aye. Vasiludi. Aye. Moranti. Aye. Nisan. Aye. Morris. Aye. Crony. Aye. Bolo. Aye. President TV. Aye. Aye. The next resolution adopts the pro housing community plan. Well, you know, we all heard about this a while back. And uh, before we discuss, can I have any in a second? Margaret and Jennifer. Any questions? Michelle's here to answer any questions. Can I have only question was I'm the student that came from Michelle? Correct. Okay. Okay. We'll go both then. Councilmember Belton. Aye. Best Saludi. Aye. Moranti? Aye. Nisan? Aye. Morris? Aye. Roni? Aye. Dolo? Aye. Okay, John. Aye. Skip. And our last resolution authorizes the mayor to execute a contract with the net rental. Oh, we got it. Can I have an introduction? Second, please. Jennifer. Christian. Questions? Roll call vote, please. Council Member Belton. Aye. Desaludi? Aye. Moranti? Aye. Isan? Aye. Morris? Aye. Roni? Aye. Dolo? Aye. President Pietro? Aye. Carried. Okay. We have a couple of laws we need to do with. Um, I think we have a revised version of the uh, Law relating to the restraint of animals. And, and the legal committee, I think, finally decided to go with the, the original one hour. Was that it? Or, or? That, well, that's where we landed. Yeah. Um, but it's up to the council to make whatever decision they want to. It's a good yeah. idea. I think we should prefer that. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Lola is online and cannot hear. Anybody else can hear us? I might just shoot on the tables. Try again. It's not. Maybe she's on the. Maybe she's. Yeah, I don't think that's. I mean, Rich can hear. Yeah. I'm going to ask her to just try it again. 
So let's get an introduction in a second for this law. Margaret and Hitler. So it would be nice to actually move one of your thoughts forward. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So we're going to So, oh, that's a motion and a second to put it on our desks. Okay. So that's been done. So we don't have to no, we're not probably going to do No, we are. No. Ten days, right? Ten days. Ten days. Sorry. So we're going to and then the next one, I'm going to. Uh, do you follow me move on? Uh, Dominic, do you have um, do you have some of the things that you want to do that nearby come and move to a record? So yeah, we did it. And I think what's there now is in fact what you wanted to correct. Yeah, we did it, right? Yeah. Yes, we did it. But the uh, yeah. National Weather Service has issued heat or winter chill advisory from Montreal 1. So the weather stuff is there, and I think everything you brought up has been positive. Great. The so monthly I, laws I, I, I read was an hour. The yeah. ones that already passed, they yeah. had the hour. So can we vote on this in the informal of August? If we create a special meeting for it, but it's only... We're right before the... Yeah, we're good. Okay. Yeah, because, Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. Yes, it'd be nice to be done. Yeah. Uh, next one, I'm, I understand we're not going to... Get a motion in a second to put it on our desks until it um, doesn't literally get tabled. We just don't put it forward and we will work on it in the next week. Uh, yeah, I, I think the changes that need to happen are fairly minor and you could possibly just go to the whole council. It's really just about expanding the definition. Uh, but what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What the first thing. What do you mean? Because I mean, you, you can do the changes and then you can just. And if you go to the phone, you're all okay. Yeah, well, either way, you have legal between now and Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. Let's be legal. So that's it. Any new witnesses or also this? I'll count some language first. Dominic. Just curious on what's the process of starting? You know, my understanding there is a lot of money. You know, in terms of unpaid taxes, what's that process about recovering that? Well, I don't know if that's correct. Where is What's that based on? No. Was it a report that came? Yeah, there's, I thought there was a report that came that there's, you know, old, you know, there's properties that have a I lot think of money tied in. I think at the finance. Uh, well, let's see the finance. I don't know what. Where, where's that information from? I don't know. I, I read a, one of the reports I thought, right? Heather, was there a report about unpaid taxes and delinquencies? Heather, you want to go see? No, um, I'm not aware of the report that you're talking about. Um, it's quite possible that that was shared at some point in time. Um, the foreclosure process uh, is always challenging here because we are reliant, obviously, on a foreclosure attorney to handle that process for us. Um, our attorneys sometimes change as the administration changes, so it, it starts and fits. Um, we did have a process started and then the pandemic hit, which meant that that all went, uh, you know, uh, stagnant for several years. Um, we are back in the position where we can, in fact, uh, begin the foreclosure process. Uh, unfortunately, the attorney that was assigned to do the work um, basically declined to continue to do the work. Uh, the city attorney, Andy, is aware of that and is on his uh, docket to find an attorney to handle that process. Um, it's it's very um, specific and has to be handled in a very, very specific way to make sure we dot all the I's and cross all the T's. So basically, as soon as uh, Andy tells us that we have an attorney, we are ready to get started. Heather, you got an estimated number of what we're looking at in terms of delinquency number? I think you're talking about two different things, Tom. Um, I, I, I can look that number up. I've looked it up in the past. I don't remember off the top of my head. I remember somebody was banding around like a huge amount of number online, and that turned out to be not true at all. Uh, oh. The other thing to keep in mind is that generally the uh, the dollar amount that we start with ends up being significantly less in terms of what's actually foreclosed on. I've only been through one foreclosure myself in the time I've been here. And I think we started with something like 123 properties and, uh, you know, uh, well, 
well over a million dollars in delinquent taxes. We ended up foreclosing only on, I believe, eight to 11 properties with significantly less dollar amounts because you know, part of the process is an ongoing communication with the taxpayers that sort of um, um, escalates in, in, in um, fear mongering, for lack of a better word. So once people realize that the city is actually about to start taking action, they will do things like refinance their mortgage or come in and enter into an installment payment plan with the city, which we offer, um, or sell the property so they can get out from under the taxes. Um, it's, it's, you know, there's only a few holdouts that, you know, won't take any of those actions, which is, of course, very sad and we don't like to see. Um, so I can I can run a report and let you know at the next meeting what the current outstanding taxes are, um, but how we will recover those uh, will very much depend on, you know, what the actions of the individual taxpayers are once they start receiving the notices. Great, thank you. Right, well, nothing extraordinary in the delinquency correction. Uh, I would I would not say it's extraordinary, except for the fact that it has been so long since we've had a foreclosure process that there are a number of properties um, that do owe, you know, there, there's at least a handful of properties that owe in the six figures. Um, like the house, is that the property in pa on Paddock? Is that still uh, yes? That would be one that? of them. That's a slightly different situation because they did uh, declare bankruptcy. They did get into a, a you know a legal payment plan, not one which included paying off the city. Uh, they defaulted on that. The uh, the uh, the attorney, I'm, I'm blanking on what they call it, the trustee, the trustee who is, you know, in charge of putting the bankruptcy plan into place and making sure that it is um, adhered to, uh, basically gave us the green light and said, no, nope, he's defaulted. You can now, in fact, you know, finish. We'd already foreclosed on him. It was already in the city's name. It's, it's a weird and complicated situation. Um, but at the end of the day, that happened, and then the pandemic hit, and then we couldn't force him out. And then we started the eviction proceedings. We were told at the time that the, uh, which has to be handled um, in a unique way um, because it's a tax foreclosure as opposed to an eviction for other reasons. My understanding was that eviction process was started. We were told that it was going to take a very long time because there was such a delay in all of those activities due to, again, the pandemic and all of the you know, properties that ended up in situ similar situations. So uh, I have touched base with Andy on a regular basis. Uh, unfortunately, I think that the attorney who is no longer handling our foreclosures is also the attorney that was handling that. And I believe he may not be handling that anymore either. So I will absolutely reach out to Andy this week and just find out uh, where we stand on that and let you guys know next month. Great, thank you. Thank you. Councilor, any more older business? No, there is one room ready. That's seven. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I just have a question. Do we have a couple of laws by the return of films uh, and being public that I'd like to vote on the laws if there's sufficient time to do the informal and the formal meeting for us to get it? It takes 10 minutes. Is there a way to get those to the council? Then they start next moment. So we're Okay, fine. We'll get to the vote. Put it on the desk. And then mail to the council members. And that. I don't know if Crystal's mind will chime in or not, rather than. Crystal, do you have a I uh, no, I, I missed. Was that a question? I missed. It went in and out. I couldn't hear it. Um, my, my, question, my question was: We have a couple of things that we're running to get um, to the desk tonight, right? And I was asking if there was sufficient time in between our next informal meeting in August and our formal meeting, which is eight days, uh, for us to introduce them to the informal and vote on the informal. And apparently we need 10 days. So I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to get these to the council and if it's sufficient time frame so that can be voted on all this type of all. So do we have to introduce them at a meeting or can they be simply sent to all the councils? Well, you, have, you could do a special meeting. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So, so, special special meeting. Meeting. 
I'm just trying to get just make the card prior to each just do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Anybody from the public? Yeah, I Can we have a meeting where we have the before the parking meeting? Yeah, I'll try to help out for the meeting. Yeah. So, we're yeah. already every so, yeah. Oh, yes. Hi, my name is Joe Baker. Um, I just wanted to address the issue that I think was brought up in the informal meeting around the parking lot down by the Amtrak station, the front street parking lot. I'm somebody that um, is a yearly. Uh, customer for that by the um, the ticket for that, and um, I think there was an issue of you know um, permit holders parking in other spaces. I certainly think they should not be able to. They should be fine accordingly. I never do. I always park in the designated spots. Um, so I'm a good guy. Um, but then the other thing is that I think there was a question of like availability, but then somebody else told me it was a question of uh, expense and you know revenue. And because the, the kiosk is pretty bulky there, and I, I, I bought a, a permit because I also had issues with the app, um, especially if I was away adding dates um, on the app, and maybe that's been fixed. I don't know. I haven't been doing that for a couple of years. So we'll be going around in short, but we're getting a whole new system. Okay. Um, and so my, my just the, the convenience of having the permit is is very good for me and for uh, lots of my friends. I'm representing a few people, you know, that couldn't be here tonight. And if it's an issue of money, then I think certainly the the fee for the um, the permit could be increased um, commensurate with what either the daily parking rates are or you know some sort of discount. Like a garage small place usually a, bit, a little bit less than the daily rate. Are you able to do that with the new system? In, in the context of the voucher, yeah. or uh, the uh, yeah. your permit, you be able to use the app and plan for me. Oh, I see. So the app will have that capability. Yes. Sir. So I think that. we're getting rid of the designated yeah, spot. Yeah, the permit designation. Okay. And, okay. Visible. Okay. Okay. Well, I like the old system. I got an old school about it. So. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes. As HTC is here and I can our executive team, we just want to thank you all for supporting uh, our program. So we really appreciate your enthusiasm for bringing this great back. And if you ever have any questions, we would be giving a tour of the school. We'll invite you on and on. It's still in this rough state, so we can see it now before it turns to something else. Thank you very much. Do you, do you have a date for that tour? Or what? do you have a date for that tour? Um, no, I have to, I have to figure it out. Okay. Thank you. That'd be great. Thanks. Thanks. It's been a while since I've been there. Anyone else? Uh, Matt, can I uh, make a motion to adjourn? Well, the shoe bags. I was in favor of the I didn't know you would have been bringing on the boat. So I'll see you there. No, it's good.